I'm Marin, and this is Post-its and Pens. Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be my November Shop My Stash featuring my new eyeshadow roulette picks. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a little recap of last month's eyeshadow roulette. I did not manage to use each of the shades five times. I got close, but here's where we are. You can see I used all of them at least four times, and then I did use the uh, Tarte shade a fifth time, but I started my eyeshadow roulette a little bit later in the month last time which is why I kind of ran out of days. So still pretty good. I'm still glad that I got some use out of the shades. Just didn't quite manage to use each of them five times. So for this month's eyeshadow roulette, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different as I am thinking that I'm going to do a pan that palette for next year. And I'm kind of wanting to play around with some entire palettes the next two months to see what might be a good candidate for that. I have some ideas and I've put a few of them into this month's eyeshadow roulette. So instead of picking individual shades, I have picked entire palettes to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead, tip you down, show you the five palettes that I've chosen and I will still be keeping track and trying to use shades from each of those palettes five times. So let's take a look at the palettes I picked. Okay so the first palette that I did pick out is this Huda Beauty Khaki Haze palette. I have barely touched this since earlier in the year so we're going to go ahead and just kind of take a look. It's got a lot of browns, some really pretty shimmers, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use this one five times this month. I think it's got some nice fall vibes. The next one I chose is this Violet Voss Sunflower Palette. Again, this is just some fall vibes. Really pretty shimmers, just very basic colors. It does have that yellow, which I really like the color yellow. It's a color that really makes me happy, so I decided to go ahead and include this one as well. I don't think this will be a Pan That Palette pick, but I wanted to go ahead and play with it a little bit more, just in case. And then we're going to get into the three that probably will be possible Pan That Palette. So the first one is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This is my oldest palette, I believe. I think I've had this the longest. You can see this shade right here already has some pan and it's got some nice use. I've already used this once this month, so I do really enjoy this palette. I think it's very simple but very pretty and it's definitely one of my favorites and a possible contender for Pan That Palette next year. The fourth one is another Urban Decay palette. This is the Naked Ultraviolet palette. This one is a little bit more out of my comfort zone because it's got these purples and things like that. But again, it's still really pretty colors. I particularly like this shade right here as well as this light purple. But I feel like this would be a decent one for Pan That palette. You can see I have not used it very much at all. So it could definitely use with getting some consistent love. And the final palette for this month is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. This is one that I have not had very long either. Both this one and the Ultraviolet kind of came into my collection around the same time. But again, just a very pretty color story. I really like the pinks. So a possible contender for Pan That palette as well. Although I do also have two palettes from Too Faced that could possibly go into Pan That palette as well. So there you have it. Those are the three Urban Decay palettes that I'm thinking about possibly panning next year, but they will be in my November Shop My Stash, as well as the Violet Voss Sunflower palette and the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move on to what I am putting in my makeup basket for November. And full disclosure, I'm not changing 
anything, I don't think, from last month's makeup basket because I am really trying to use up these Project Pan items that I have put in the makeup basket. So that's where most of my focus is going to be. So we're just going to go ahead and roll on through what I will be continuing to use into November and possibly even into December. So I know that's not terribly exciting, but we're going to go ahead and take a look regardless. Okay, so to talk about my makeup basket, you're actually going to get some spoilers for my Project Pan. So I have been working on the shade Dandelion in here, and y'all, I have the tiniest bit left. So I'm definitely going to finish that up in November, but then I really want to keep working on this shade right here. And that one is Gold Rush. You can see like the bottom of it is starting to pop through as well as on the shade down here, which is Rockateur. I'm thinking these are going to be Project Pan shades next year because I would really like to get those used up. This one is not a favorite, so I'll kind of use it just occasionally. I do like that it's a peach to add to my very pink blush for the next couple months, but Dandelion should definitely be finished pretty quickly. So that will be one blush. The second one from my Project Pan is the Glossier Cloud Paint. You can see I have made some nice progress here as well. This is in the shade Puff. It's just a very pink shade, again, kind of like Dandelion. So that will, again, be in my makeup basket because it is Project Pan. And the last blush shade is this Tarte Lipstick in the shade Salt Life. This made very minimal pro progress last month, even though I used it, I believe, seven times. So hopefully I can get that tip down right there kind of leveled out. That would be great. And then hopefully get this finished before the end of the year. That will be what I am using for my blush. Again, it's the same as last month, but I really want to get these things finished up. Moving on to some base products, I am still working on this ColourPop Pretty Fresh. You can see I've made some nice progress again on this one, so I'm going to continue to use that one. I am also almost completely finished with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. You can see I just have the tiniest bit left in there. It's actually really hard to get the product out because of how the top of this is. So if you can see, it has like a very skinny opening here, so it's very difficult to get the project product out. I have been using like a spatula just to get that out of there, but this will definitely be gone this month and I'm probably going to purchase a full size of this. I really, really like that foundation. And then I am also still working on the same two concealers that I've been working on. These are the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers. I have two different shades. I've talked about this before. This one is a really light shade. It's Fair Rose. And then this one is light peach. This kind of helps cancel out some of the purple or blue under my eyes, which is why I have that to mix with this lighter shade. So those are the same base products that I was using in October, but we're gonna keep using them in November. I'm really pleased with the amount of progress I've been able to get on this one. I don't know that I'll be able to finish this, but at least I can get some good use out of it. And this will be something nice for winter anyway, a little bit lighter coverage, and I won't be as oily. So hopefully this will continue to work into the winter. Okay, then we have my other products here. I do still have this powder from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I don't have a ton of this left, as you can see. Uh, right there, it's getting down. So I feel like this will probably last through the end of the year, but probably not past that. I am also still working on the number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder, which I use on my under eyes. I'm probably going to have to repress this soon, but I feel like we should still be good for the month of November. And then I'm still keeping the same two highlighters and bronzer in here, the Pure Nude from Essence and then the Too Faced Sun Bunny because I barely touched those last month, so we'll just keep those in there and keep using them. My liner is almost gone. This is the roller liner. It's getting a little bit harder to apply, but I'm going to repurchase this same thing because I just really, really love this eyeliner. So that will be in here. And then I am using the Revolution blowout high volume mascara it has a brush that just looks like this and i actually i'm really really enjoying this mascara it's a really nice drugstore mascara it looks really pretty 
Okay, the last item that I have kind of been playing with is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Uh, this is the shade Fenty Glow 01. I used this a handful of times. I have it on today. It looks really pretty. I just don't always remember to put this on, especially because I am still also working on this lip balm from NARS. So I have made a nice dent in that. I'm not going to open it back up and show you, but have made some good progress on this as well. So we'll just continue to play with those same products. And then of course I do have my NARS Soft Matte Concealer if I need a little bit of extra coverage. And there you have it. That is a look at the items that I'm going to be working on in the month of November and possibly December if I can't get some of these Project Pan items done. But yes, not terribly exciting, very similar, almost identical to last month's makeup basket, but I've just been doing like very basic makeup anyway, kind of just playing more with eyeshadow than anything else as I try to get through those three blush products one of which will be gone this month. So that's very exciting. But anyway, yes, that's it. That's all I have for you for this month's Shop My Stash. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.